Well, hi folks, and welcome to this edition of Art Tips with John. I am your host, John Morris, welcoming you to a show that helps you build not only your artist business, but also your artistic talents. Welcome to today's show. Okay, folks, so as we mentioned last week, want to hit on a topic that uh, kind of follows on from last week's show, and it is answering the question, which works better, flatboard canvas or stretched canvas? Now, both are really, really good products. It depends, obviously, on the reasoning behind wanting to use either. I can tell you now that different canvas is going to give you a different effect and with that in mind I want to share with you the first set of tips for purchasing I suppose flat board canvas. Now flat board canvas which I have here and here we have my famous Myrtle the Turtle painting okay now flat board canvas is exactly what it says it's canvas that's been put onto cardboard as you can the positives of working with flatboard canvas is when you are storing them, you can store them one on top of the other. Um, you won't do any damage really, it's good and durable, so it's not going to bend too much either. Um, what else? They, they are easy to store as well, they're not as big as a big bulky wooden frame of a stretch canvas however they do take longer to dry and sometimes I don't find that things kind of flow as well for me. Maybe it's just a surface issue, maybe it's a personal preference, but I tend to find that I do lean in preference to the stretch canvas, and I'll share that with you now. Okay, folks, so now we're gonna talk about the stretch canvas, and one I have here is a large painting of Midnight Forest, and we've got some beautiful waterfalls going on here. It's a nighttime and all sorts of really cool and exciting things. This one is a larger canvas, obviously, and I can't actually remember the size of it because it doesn't have it on the side. Um, I would need to measure it again, so I do apologize for that. But it's a big canvas. I would estimate it's probably around 40 by 48 uh, approximately, something like that. And as you can see on the back, it is stretch canvas on a wooden frame, which means it comes ready to hang. Unlike stretch canvas, you cannot hang it without either putting nails underneath, which messes up your wall, or without putting a frame on the back. You can attach stickers to the back, but again, because of the weight of a canvas that size, you would have a hard time sticking it up. So, with a uh, framed canvas, it's ready to go straight on the wall, and all it needs to do is just hang, you put two nails or picture hooks in the wall, and it will hang there nice and straight, no bother, and it won't move at all. Um, it dries a lot quicker than a canvas board. The drawbacks to this, though, is that it is a little bit bulkier. You can see there that's probably about an inch, maybe half an inch in thickness, and you can kind of see that when you've got maybe 10 or 15 of those, they do take up quite a lot of room. In my case, we've probably got 100 or so hitting around the apartment, and you know, on top of the wardrobe, they do take up some room. If you've got a box canvas, it's probably gonna be three times the depth of that uh, side that I've just shown you there. So they are quite thick. But I prefer these because of the reasons that I mentioned. They come ready to hang. They're easy to build and make if you're gonna build and make your own. Um, also, as well, the paint dries a lot quicker. Um, and I just find personal preference is it's a much better flow. It's not as solid where you've got the cardboard at the back. But my advice would be get hold of a couple of cheaper ones of, of both styles and try them out for yourself because it is a personal preference. I find, I think a good dust up my nose there, um, I find that I prefer the canvas uh, that has been stretched, but as a push, I will use canvas board. It's just remembering it takes longer to dry, you can't hang it straight up, um, and sometimes the personal dynamics can come into it as well. Well, folks, I hope that helped, and I hope that answered that question for you. Of course, if you've got any other questions for me that you would like to add, that you would like me to answer, please do drop me a message in the box below, or at johnmorrisartfromtheheart.com, and of course, as always, I'll be here to help. As always, please would you like, share, and subscribe if you love this content, help us grow, and support us in our way, and until next time, we always appreciate you, and we love your comments and feedback. I have been your host, John Morris. This has been Art Tips with John and until next Tuesday I will see you then. Have an awesome week. Take care. God bless.